All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. How is your first day of your project management conference going? You're all surviving? Overloaded with information? I'm sure. OK, well, look, thanks, Tracy. I really am happy to be here and, uh, and to help kickstart day one of your conference. Um, I actually met Tracy a couple of months ago, I think, at a breakfast seminar. And at the time, Tracy was discussing, you know, the, the aspects of her, of her project management conference. And we both agreed that project management is in so many roles in so many businesses today. And I guess we got thinking that we could kind of do something together. I'm certainly not here standing before you guys as a qualified manager, uh, project manager, although having started my own business, I guess you could see that think that that's a bit of an aspect of project management. Um, certainly starting a business with next to nothing in resources and money uh, was certainly a, a big component of what project management is all about. How I see project management today is certainly a role that requires particular training, skills and a large degree of knowledge. And I think that makes a person quite an asset uh, to most businesses today. But as I said, recruitment is my passion and uh, I'm here today to give you, uh, I guess, a bit of a perspective on where project managers sit in the employment market and how kind it is to project managers. And also to hear your thoughts too on whether you think project management as a skill uh, is a competitive advantage for you, or at least will be one day. I think if you asked me if I thought project management as a skill is useful and valuable to most employers now, I'd say you betcha. It absolutely is, from a recruiter's perspective. Do I think that the skills of project managers give you a competitive advantage? Well, certainly that depends on the job that you're in or the position you're applying for. But for the most part, yes. I think project management knowledge backed up by good experience, work experience, will certainly put you in a position of being well regarded by both recruiters and hiring managers. I think that's because certain qualities and leadership capability comes into play when you look at someone who's a qualified project manager. I think the future is certainly bright for project managers today, and I'll tell you why shortly, but I think it's bright for those building a career in project management or are looking to use project manage management as a tool to use perhaps as you aspire to a more senior role in your job. A greater number of people today are facing being in the employment market simply for reasons that have been largely out of their control. Uh, that being downsizing of businesses, being faced with redundancy, um, all sorts of things like that. And that's really made people today be, have to think far more strategically uh, when they're looking for work. So when thinking about project management today, I came across this quote that I thought really sums up what project management is in the workplace now and, and in modern business today. And this guy, who's the head of um, an advanced project management program at Stanford University, said that the ability to convert strategy into action is the emerging skill of our time. The ability to persuade and influence others, understand stakeholder values, and negotiate for scarce resources is critical. And I think that pretty much sums up where project management is right now. So, in other words, there's a bright future for project management professionals. I'll give you some ideas, really, I'll give you some stats, really. First of all, before that, definitely there is a rapid global demand for project managers at the moment. Um, the Department of Education, Employment and Workplace Relations just said earlier this year that employment in Australia for project managers is expected to grow by eight, over 820,000 jobs or 7.1% through to November 2017. 
and across most industries and occupations in Australia. And the range of project, managers, project manage, man, management jobs is going to increase overall to about 16.4 per cent by 2017. So basically that gives you an indication of how important the skill of project management is going to be irrespective of the industry that you're in. Coupled with that is salary. Now, I mean, not everybody is on this, of course, but certainly if you pursued project management as a full-time occupation, this year it's been listed as having attracting an average salary of around $134,000. What the critical point here is that certified or qualified project management people are the ones that are the most sought after, which is probably the reason why a lot of you are here today. So I'll give you an idea about Australia and the demand for, or the likely demand for project managers. We talked earlier about global demand for experienced and qualified project managers, and that's expected to increase considerably uh, up to 2020. And the main reason because, and, and again, these, these statistics have shown that there are obviously earmarked countries that have been earmarked or pinpointed as the countries that are actually going to have the highest level of project activity, and that's going to fuel the demand for project managers. Australia is listed as one of those countries that will most likely get, have a fairly significant uh, rate of activity in project management. Interestingly, and over the last few years, I've certainly noticed that everybody would know that the downturn in the mining and resources boom would have expected to of have decreased the demand or interest in hiring project managers. But in actual fact, the opposite has occurred. Uh, the demand for really good project managers um, pretty much has remained the same. So that kind of suggests that it's both a sought after skill the supply of really good project managers that understand project methodology is pretty scarce still. Here's some st statistics that came in from SEEK uh, in 2014. And it said that th these were the highest engaged candidate supply areas based on the ads that were listed. And as you can see, project management was one of the highest listed ads. Right now, in fact, on SEEK, I think there's over 2,300 listed project manager jobs at the moment, just in Queensland alone. This graph shows you again, and again, this is from you know, the most popular job site, which is SEEK. These are the top three, these are the top hardest jobs to source. Project managers, management is about midway. And it's amongst a lot of those other pretty sought after uh, trades, etc. So that basically also tells you that project management is a skill that's highly sought after and it's in demand. And it doesn't, I mean, doesn't really matter what industry you're in. In the construction industry, this one is, is pretty high. And I mean, look, project management is probably, has probably been the most sought after skill in the construction and resource space. And unless any of you here are in that sector, obviously that's not gonna be relevant to you. And of course that's attracted a high salary. But again, it just gives you an indication of the of how valued the skill of project management is. And in fact, I mean, as a recruiter, um, I have placed people who've come out of the construction and resource into a completely different sector and uh, still attracted a pretty good salary. Well, what are, I guess, the key qualities that I would be looking at, looking for, if I was recruiting for a project manager? So I've kind of come up with what I think, based on my recruitment experience, what I think are, I guess, the top six vantage points 
that I would look for if I was recruiting. And of course, skills, technical skill and experience aside, obviously that's important. But there are underlying qualities that yourselves as hiring managers or myself would look for ultimately um, in someone if you are seeking to hire a project manager, either a project manager working over a team or working amongst a team. These are what I kind of came up with and the first one is well, certification. So I've kind of been around for you know, a number of years doing recruitment and uh, I've done a lot of recruitment in different sectors. And what I can probably vouch and say is that really the applicants that are in a skilled profession whose work experience on their CV is backed by good qualifications or a good a quality accredited tra training um, certification tend to ultimately get more interesting and challenging work opportunities presented to them. Um, I also find that people generally who've sought out good qualifications or really gone to that extent of investing in good quality um, studies or qualification, um, they, I find their careers tend to flourish or at least they head in the right direction. It, it's clearer to them. Um, and so I'd definitely be looking at certification. I think it also sustains a person's career for longer as well. The second one would probably be vision. I think this is a bit of an overused term. Um, you know, when I'm interviewing people, oh, yes, I've got big picture skills, you know, I'm, I'm a good strategist, you know. And uh, you get that a lot. Um, but I find that a lot of people actually don't have that. I guess you either have it inherent in you to think big picture or it's a learned skill. And I think a lot of, I find a large number of people um, either don't want to or are unwilling to get involved at the strategy level, uh, whether it's a comfort zone area, they prefer to be at the ground level of a project, um, which is another skill anyway. But I think in today's business environment, if you are in project management or you've got a role that has project management responsibility, I think you need to have that strategic thinking or you need to kind of start to understand it because it's quite inherent in, in being able to work with, engage with a wide range of stakeholders. You have to get their buy-in, get their influence in order to get a project done. I definitely agree that's important. Communication, well, that's, that's pretty obvious. I mean, everybody would know that communication is incredibly important, but it's paramount, really, if you, if you want to pursue an area that has, or a role that carries a lot of project management responsibility. Um, being able to articulate the vision that a company or a business owner or a departmental manager has and being able to articulate that and convert that into the right plan and a project really is critical today. Other factors I think that are really important, of course, to go without saying is leadership. But I think that today where businesses have downsized, restructured, I think it's, it doesn't really matter so much what your role is. I kind of see leadership myself as kind of accountability in a job. So being able to understand that whatever you do has a leadership component is important, but it's particularly important, obviously, in project management. Being able to, again, think strategically and oversee a team and keeping that team on track and focused on the end goal is what I probably call leadership. Team hands-on management is really just basic team management. Um, and it can be sometimes underestimated the importance of that. You know, it's the administration of individuals, it's proper delegation, it's setting appropriate timeframes, both for yourself and others, um, being able to tackle uh, problems as, as they escalate towards you and still getting to the end within the appropriate time. And negotiation, of course, as I said earlier, just, again, negotiation is all about trying to create and achieve mutually agreeable outcomes. It's a big part of project management. So I'm a recruiter. Um, I'm in the business of, you know, placing people into jobs. So if anybody here um, was actually, you know, thinking about looking for 
a job in project management. Um, I would say that, that yes, there's opportunity, um, but I think it's the certified trained professionals that tend to have the added advantage when it comes to looking for work. Mainly being that recruiters, and it does sound a bit ruthless, but we do. I mean, we're in the business of helping a job seeker, but ultimately it's the client or the employer that pays our fee. So we tend to use certification or qualification to narrow our candidate search and our short lists. But it says a lot about if you go and do some qualifications, it really does su suggest to a recruiter that you're organised, um, you're committed to your task, you can achieve an outcome, and you've also been probably involved in some fairly tough uh, testing criteria. And that also suggests that, um, you know, I guess some high level of critical thinking skills as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can find me on those. And uh, I hope that I've given you a couple of, couple of points that might give you some food for thought as you go through the next couple of days and, uh, and really learn so much more from, from Tracy about project management. Thanks very much.